finally, we have implemented homophily. We have seen how to implement three kinds of closures in our evolutionary model. And the last and the most interesting thing which remains is the social influence and it's actually the most easy. We needn't do anything here in this model to achieve social influence as I have told before. So there is a very subtle way in which we capture this social influence happening. How do we do that? It's assume that if a person is connected to a gym, so obviously his being connected to gym should result in a decrease in his BMI and if a person is connected to an eat out place, this should result in an increase in the BMI of this person. So what do we do? For every node which is connected to a gym, we reduce its BMI by 1 every iteration and every node which is connected to an eat out place, we increase its BMI by 1 every iteration. And we just do this and the social influence is captured. How? So as I have told you, we have seen here now, when a person gets connected to a gym, he is losing weight. Now, I have a friend and this friend is going to the gym. Now, because of membership closer, I tend to become a part of the gym. And when I become a part of the gym, as you saw, I will start losing weight. So, this is one aspect of social influence. So, we have mainly looked at three reasons why in which social influence can happen. But we capture one of those here and that reason is the shared context. When two people are the part of the same social foci, it leads to an influence. So, we have seen that it's like if two people both have a brilliant teacher, both of them will have start having good marks. Similarly, if two people here, both of them are part of gym. So, one person was going to gym, another also started going to gym, will start losing weight. And similarly with an eat out place, the effect is reversed. So, this is how we capture social influence here. Finally, what we want to do here is we want to implement social influence. How we are implementing social influence, we have already discussed before. So, it is an indirect implementation of social influence. So, it is mainly at every iteration a person who is associated with gym loses weight and a person who is associated with an eat out gains weight. And then as we know that membership closures are happening. Uh, so, let us say I am a part of gym and then I have a friend who is fat. Then he looks at me and I am I have joined gym. He also joined gym and hence he started losing weight. So, that is a kind of social influence we are going to implement here. So, for meanwhile, let us just comment everything. And now, what we want to do here is we want to change weights, right? We want to change BMIs of people. So, we call change BMI G. And what this function change BMI G does is change BMI G. So, for each in F nodes, what do we do? For each one in G dot neighbors of each, what do we do? If G dot node each one But again, we are doing it for the foci nodes which are either an eat out or a gym. So, we want to see that. So, for each in F nodes, we again need to put a loop here. If G dot node each. So, if this each node, its name, its name equals to equals to eat out. If its name equals to eat out, only then we are going to execute this code. So, if it is eat out, we look at each of its neighbors and if each g dot node each one 
name. So now since we are going to increase the weight, so first of all this name should not be equals to 40. Right? Because if it is equal to 40, we cannot further increase the BMI of this person. So if each, if G dot node each one name is not equals to 40, what do we do is we increase it by 1. G dot node each one name equals to G dot node each one name plus 1 right and then we again do the same thing for gym so it's essentially we have to copy paste the same code here if g dot node each name equals to gym so if it is a gym we look at all of its neighbors and if for a neighbor this value should not be equals to 15 if this value is not equals to 15 we decrease its bmi by 1 so this is how we are going to change the BMI of people. Okay. Now what are we are going to do is we have all three components in our network. We have homophily, we have closer and we have social influence. We are going to put all of these three together and we are going to visualize our network. So let's take time for T in range. Let's do it over a time period of Let's do it for 10 times stems. So for t in range 0 to 10, what are we going to do is we do homophily, we apply closer, we apply social influence and then we visualize this graph and at the beginning when nothing is done, that time also we want to visualize our graph. So we have these statements here. Now let's execute our code and see what's happening. Okay. Change BMI G. So this is a function definition, right? So we need a define here. Okay. Go back, execute it. Okay. So this is our initial network where we have five social foci and we have different nodes having different BMIs. Now we see here that some nodes have become friends with each other and there are more number of edges between these nodes. And let's look at the number of obese people in this network. So currently we have one obese node which is 40. We again have one obese node which is 40. And as more and more number of nodes are getting added. Do you see some problem in this code? I see some problem in this code. So as we can see the number of obese people is not changing in this network. That should actually happen because we have implemented social influence. So what can be the problem with this code? So let's try to troubleshoot it together. When we write a piece of code, we should be able to troubleshoot this, uh, troubleshoot this code nicely. So you see here, when we were visualizing a graph G here, we have passed these various arrays here, right? Color array, node size, label dig. So here when we have, here when the BMI of people have changed and then the social influence have occurred, don't you think we need to again calculate all of these values? So it's like in the beginning we saw which nodes were yellow, we feed it here and we visualize, we fed it here and we visualized it. And now when we are running this graph, we are again and again using the same color array, the same size array. So we need to change this. So a best way to change is to have these values so to call these functions inside our visualize. So these functions like, uh, let's say, um, label dict function and then the node size function and the color array function. So all of these three things. All of these three things needs to be actually calculated in the visualize function because uh, whenever you visualize it, these values have values are keeping these values are changing. So what we do is we just delete these values from here and we put all these values inside all these function calls inside our visualize function. So here is our function visualize. So what we do here is 
we have all these values here so whenever we want to visualize our graph we again look at the labels we again look at the size of nodes and we again look at the colors and then we do not need to have all these things here we just have a defined visualize g and when we call this function towards the end there also we just need a visualize g so whenever you will try to code sometimes when you weird things will happen so the best way is to keep uh keep printing your different parameters at different places and see what is going wrong where so let's again execute it okay line 21 there seems to be a problem so let's go to the line 21 okay so we have calculated label dict here we have calculated node size here so instead of n size here it should be node size and then node underscore color is color underscore array node color okay now let's look at this graph so this is our initial graph and then you see some new friendships have been added to this graph So now you see there is one yellow node and there is another yellow node. So you see that the BMI of one node has been increased and it has hit the obesity parameter. So that's how our graph will keep changing. We can to have a better visualization we can actually uh, change the parameters we have used in the code. But you will see that with time more and more number of people will keep becoming obese because of social influence and yes people will lose their weights also because of this so let's quickly have a look on the parameters so um this was for homophily and then this is for closer so let's keep it small for the time being let's keep it 0 0.01 and then we can again visualize this graph now let's visualize this graph in a very nice way so what we are going to do for this visualization is we store this graph in a file a jpg file and when we run this code that jpg file will keep changing with time and we observe the change in that jpg file so for that what do we do is when you call this function visualize g this function will store your graph will save your graph as a jpg file instead of plotting it here so first of all let's put a sleep statement here so that before making your file the code sleeps for some time so let's say some 10 seconds and whenever you call your function visualize g what this function is going to do is it will wait for let's say one second and for this use this sleep statement we need to import time so it mainly delays the put some delays in your code so time.sleep1 and here instead of showing our plot what do we do is we save our figure plt dot save plot as let's say evolution dot jpg so this plot is saved and once this plot is saved we need to clear this plotting screen for the next plotting to occur so what we have done is we have removed the uh, plt.show statement here and whatever the output graph is we are having that output graph in a separate file and that separate file keeps changing with time. So let's execute this code now and see what's happening. So let's come back. So here we are and let's wait. Okay, so here is our file evolution.jpg. Let's open it. And you can see that now this code has started changing with time. Uh, this figure has started changing with time. And you can see that how more and more number of yellow nodes are 
popping up in the network how more and more number of green nodes are popping up in the network which shows that with time the number of obese people in this network is increasing and with time the number of underweight people in this network is also increasing so it mainly depends on how you execute this code so this was one way of looking at this animation there are actually many nice uh, python functions to look at these animations we'll be, uh, so for the sake of simplicity we have done it like this this time but next time we'll try to use a better approach we'll try to use the inbuilt functions of python